So this is exactly why I am in a, a big tub of DVDs. It's finds like this. So we've just we've just got access to a bale of DVDs that is sealed that he wasn't going to put out to the public. We're going to have a bit of a look through. In today's video, we're going to be sifting through thousands of DVDs at Lifeline's Book Fest in the hopes of being able to sell it onto eBay for a profit. Let's see what we can find. There'll be some individual ones that are like 50, 60, 70 bucks. Look, I'm glad I'm out of the DVD game, but I'm always happy to help out. Find some bangers, let's go. See this? Mm. The complete series. Oh. Oh. Wow, bro. there <laughs> wow. we go. There we go. So we just found Beavis and Butthead volume four, and that goes for about 20, and there's two discs in it. So two into 20, not too bad at all. Um, found this one as well, the Slim Shady Show. That one goes for about 50, but there are some other comps around the $25 a piece. So um, still worth grabbing because that one, there's only one one disc in there. So it's a dollar, a dollar into say an average of 30. Just found this one as well. It's called Sugarfoot. I've never heard of this one before, uh, but the comps on eBay were pretty pretty good. There was some international sales, sort of 40 to $50 each. I knew it as soon as I saw it. We've got HR Puffin stuff, the complete series. Again, I'm just looking and I'm seeing complete series. That's the only reason I'm pulling it out. And um, we've got 70 bucks, mate. Nice. So we had a pretty good start to the day. We were able to find quite a number of items that were comping out to be around about that average $30 sale price on eBay. But it's what happened next that was the real highlight of the day. Are we able to dive into here at all? I'm sorry? Are we able to get into here? Oh, you found one that you want? Yeah, are we able to dive in or? Um, sure. Yeah, if, yeah I'll come right back. Yeah, appreciate Can you give me a minute? Yeah. <laughs> so we've just, we've just got access to a bale of DVDs that is sealed that he wasn't going to put out to the public. And uh, we're going to have a bit of a look through. I might get rid of that one. Yep. I'll put it next door and then you can... That'll work. Does that work? I'll just move them over. Thanks, mate. You know what this is? The bins have come to Australia. <laughs> yeah. We've got our own version of the bins in Australia, finally. How's that? That is perfect, that, mate. mate. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, have fun. Appreciate it, my mate. No thank you. All right, let's go. <laughs> One. Then you got old school wiggles. Look, there's a couple here. So they could be alright. Bro, just make them an offer on the whole lot. Should they? <laughs> yeah, oi. And we also found these. I don't know, we're just going to look out all the video games. What a cool opportunity. We've got so many of these to go through here. And there's another bale yeah. over there as well. Yeah, really cool opportunity for me. <laughs> Maddie's, Maddie doesn't do DVDs anymore, so he doesn't want to be here. <laughs> but I appreciate the help. We just found Grand Theft Auto 4 Liberty City and it's got the discs and it's got the map and the manual in there as well. So it's a cool, very cool find. We've been chewing through this. I feel like we've kind of made a dent. Oh, we games. Uh, ones. Fit and sport, no good. But look inside always. Could be anything else. Sport, fit. But there has been some. We, we've looked at this so far. We've got a little bit of a, got a bit of a stack here that we're working on, and we're just pulling out what we know is going to be pretty decent, and then we'll sort of scan the rest afterwards. Um, no. If you guys see anything that we're just pulling out that's worth a bit, like Carl Baron Twin Pack, I'm not grabbing that because I know that that's going to be in a satchel, and the satchels actually cost. You know, $8.50. So I think that one was only worth about 20. Scooby-Doo, Notting Hill. No. I've never heard of Magic School Bus, probably not, no. Put that back there. So Maddie and I, Maddie and I are just slowly filling up this pallet with that stuff so that they're letting us, they're letting us do it. So awesome, awesome opportunity. Upper middle bogans, not bad. We'll pull that one out, upper middle. I think, I 
think that one's okay. I think if you've got the complete series, like everything else, we'll have to put, put it to the side for now. Nothing there. Do you know how many people are going to be like, oh, you missed that, you missed that? No, I don't care. Do you know how many Astro Boy? Uh, how, what is it? It's got 25 F80s up. Yep, that'd be great. Half a little bug and it's not horror. It is horror, but it's not horror. It's, it's horror in a different <laughs> way, right? It's horror. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta it's agree. I gotta agree. Dog. You guys gonna get through that pellet as well? Yeah. 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 If, you're, uh, if you're okay with that. Oh, Oh, you're off soon, are you? <laughs> yeah. Like you can stay and help us stack it back no, in. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think. On the buses, complete series one and two. Zombie land. Come to help us stack, have you? <laughs> I think that looks alright. Oh, little bit. What's that? Quite a much? Oh, little bits and pieces, yeah. Alright. No. no? No. Oh, the footy show, best of, surely. Comedians? Put that to the side. Here we go. Candyman, Jeebus Creepers 2, Let Sleepy Causes a Lie. Prime Suspect. That's good. Is it Helen Mirren? Yeah, I think that's okay. Is it a TV show? Two discs, yeah. TV show? I think it's $15. Um, what horrors? Jeepers Creepers. How many of them? What? How many Jeepers Creepers? Candyman? Yeah. Sleeping corpses lie. I think the cringier the better, so never judge it. I do too. We'll put them to the side and we'll look at them at the end. They're worth having a look at. Just found Lord of the Rings Conquest. Not sure what it's worth, but it's complete with manual. And we've got another Grand Theft Auto 5, which is always a bread and butter staple, and it's got its map in there as well. So the video games, they're just spotting up every now and again, which is very, very good. All right, we've just looked out our first bale now empty we've gone through all of it and we've got a little collection here of i would say about 30 or 40 different titles that we think could be worthwhile we haven't been doing any comp checks we've just been going on gut feel and past experience um, so i'm just going to scan up all of these 30 or 40 odd now um, and we'll see which are actually worth going ahead with so we just had a bunch of really good video games um, that came out of it these are the more here so that's all the video games what are these comp up for? Uh, they were all like 20 to 30. Was there one special one? No, not one, like one shocking one to look out for is this one. Yeah, How much was, was that? That was 30. $30. Yeah. Pikmin. Crazy. And then there was a big allocation of Halloween. Okay. So we're going to sell that as a set. Yep. And then there were just a bunch of other ones here. So they're all kind of individual listings that were all kind of between 15 and 25. Okay. So, you know. Going through that bale, we're able to pull out one, maybe 10, maybe 16 listings. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 times 20. So the big question is, Matty. Yeah. Do you want to go through this? I want to work out how much you just made and if it's worth your time. Well, how much? How much did you make on games? If you if you average it out, twenty bucks a game. Two hundred bucks. Two hundred revenue. And then plus the bonus. Yeah. And how long like have we been here? Three hours. Plus, plus two hundred there. Maybe three hours. Yeah. Six hundred. Six hundred dollars in three hours. All right. <laughs> I mean. Because you found all these earlier, right? I mean, this is all... Think about how many... You know, you're saying you couldn't get enough listings. 
bang. It's right in here. It's right here. All right, we're slowly chipping away at this second pallet. Um, we've found a few things. We've looked out this pole here that we're going to go through. Same process, just kind of having a look. But I might take you guys through a few of the things that we're looking at here and saying yes and no to, like all of that's a no. Uh, Maddie, Maddie, you're doing a great job in there, mate. You're just slowly stacking away. We've got this perfect... We'll have a look at our work here on that last one. This looks like it was initially when it was wrapped up. So the guys here at Lifeline have been very accommodating. We are only just saying before how nice they were and obviously letting us dive into this. We had a couple of resellers come through. Um, they were jealous. saying... Very, <laughs> very, very jealous. jealous. They were like, how the hell did you guys get into this pallet? And we were just nice about it. We just asked and... All we can do is ask, and I'm they'll either say yes or no. We were nice over there, and that's why they were like, oh, yeah. Yeah, the girls, there were girls rummaging through this book bin over there, and they've left it very, very shadily. So I think that's what's helped us, actually, because we did a really good job packing up the other pallet. Um, but, yeah. I definitely think it's worth the time that it's taken to sift through and recreate these pallets for them, because the listings that we're being able to pull out here are actually quite good. Probably made about five or $600 worth of revenue, I think, from what we've looked at so far. Um, and you just know like every single one every single grab that we're doing here when we pull something out you just know that no one else has seen it so you know there's every chance that there could be an absolute banger and I've been doing this now for three years so I've got a really good sort of catalogue of really good titles in my mind and I've got really good understanding of what some of these some of these profits are actually going to be so I'm, I'm able to say yes and no to a lot of things really really quickly if you had no experience, you'd come in here and you'd be here for literally almost days to try and work it all out. But experience certainly pays. See, like this one here, Chuck. Chuck the third season, that'd be good, but we just don't have multiple seasons here in this allocation. It's just the one. So you're going to have to leave it behind. But like a lot of Wee Sports Resort, or not, not Resort, sorry, just Wee Sports. If you found a Wee Sports Resort, that's actually worth a lot of money, uh, like 40 odd bucks. But as you can see here, we've, we're going through a lot and it's literally just handing it over. No comping. Oh, here we go. Steel case. Doom 3, collector's edition. Is it? Doom 3? Yeah. I think it's a PC. Oh, no, it's Xbox. Yeah, bang. That's awesome. It's mad. Xbox Doom 3 with a steel case. That could be really good. It's going to be a 30, 30 bucks. 30 bucks, you reckon? Yep. Put it into our little collection. If we've missed a $500 DVD, please let us know yeah. in the comments. All right, this is a cool little bundle, I think, because this is a big um, bundle of games. Oh, no. What's that? Oh, that is a cracker. And is it in there, or do we have sports? Hey. Show the other one. And Ratchet and Clank, up your ass and all that. That can be like a hundred dollar game, I think, sometimes. Full disc case, just needs a clean. I need to it clean. Just needs a clean, that's it. Yeah, that's really good. It's a banging game. They, some of those Ratchet games are over a hundred bucks. Yeah, that and that. And then what about... We see got, the Assassin's Creed 3? So we've got a crust, so we've got those nah, two. No, that one. That one? Yeah, that's PC. Uh, I agree with you on this. The PC ones aren't great. None of those would Guitar be... Guitar Hero World Tour. Is that alright? On Wii. And PS2. What about Pixar nah. Cars? Cars, yes. 96 what, what, what is that? Big Brain? No. Zumba? No. No. So none, none of these? What about that one? This for sure, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I can put them, put them away. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. This is exactly why I'm in a, a big tub of DVDs. It's finds like this. Now, back when I first started three years ago, I found this in a big random allocation on Facebook Marketplace. I scanned up hundreds and hundreds of DVDs. This was the most expensive. The Magician, I've just told Maddie, it's worth $200 what? in pre-owned condition. And it was just buried, buried down in this stack here. There it is there, The Magician. Minty disc, bro. It's a two hundred dollar movie. It's the it's the most expensive movie I've ever found. I, can't I was looking it. for. I said it to you earlier today. You did, you did. Yeah, and yeah, I was exactly. like, "What are you talking about? I never heard of it." But you just showed me. Bro, that pays for the diggy. Oh my god! You can actually afford to pay me. 
So we just went through that uh, other bin here and we've come all over these titles. Obviously the best of the bunch was the Magician for 200 bucks. That was just insane. Um, but there were some other good ones in here. We had River Monsters. That was actually a really good set if you had a full allocation. So we've got four there that we can do as a bit of a bundle. Um, we found the bill as well. That was the farewell, the bill. But I mean, these video games, like that one there, obviously we spoke of that before, uh, Super Cake Mario. And then we'd also, that one there's about 15 as well. So a lot of video games. This one was a surprising one. Thomas the Tank Series 4. Um, that one was, I think, what was that like, 25? Yeah. Something like that, which was pretty decent. So yeah, we can add this to the pile of other stuff that we bought. And, uh, sure. sorry, mate. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Here's a few titles of what we're missing out on here. We've got a Mario Power Tennis. There was a Crash Twin Sanity. Uh, there's a Tony Hawk Pro Skater and a Harry Potter as well. So the games are just slowly popping out and coming through. Um, the guys here are just going through this bar um, one by one, just moving them across, moving them across. But we've actually gone through all of these. So we've just finished off going through all of this and we've moved it over to there. And then we've done this earlier in the day. So we've gone through literally thousands of DVDs here. Um, and we're coming away with a, a bit more in our allocation, but this lady over here is doing a good job as well. She's been able to get a whole heap too, like even Blokes World, that's a good $20 one. Um, Black Adder, we looked out for her as well. That one was comping up the Ultimate Edition. 40 bucks, wasn't it? The Ultimate Edition? Yeah. yeah. So we've got out of this, out of this bin over here, uh, those just there, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, so, Street Fighter 2, Return Duke Nukem High. We've got a Call of Duty 2. Um, that was complete as well on the Nintendo Wii. I think it's like 15. Did you say that was like how much? Like 30. 30 bucks for the Barbie horse like adventure. 30 or 40 dollars. That one? Uh, 25. 25. And then some more Thomas and Friends, the series. And this Dark Souls was worth about 40 as well. So we're adding that to that. And the stack is slowly building. So we've got the disc for Wii Sports Resort there, but then the actual case is for a Wii Sports. So the Wii Sports is worth nothing. Where's the disc? But Maddie has been uh, mad show. Adventure time, yeah. But that's awesome, man. It's yours. Bang, another one to the list. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. Then mine. Sixty-nine. Round it up to seventy. Nice. Yeah, I reckon. Seventy. Um, Thank you. Seventy bucks. Seventy bucks. Not bad. Yeah. Do you want a copy of that? Uh, I would if I could. Thank you. Well, you can. Thank you very much. Mm. Safe to say it was a pretty incredible day out at Lifeline Book Fest. To be able to find all of those DVDs and video games for just $70 is incredible. I really do need to say thanks to Matt, the uh, flip goat. He, is, he used to be thrift goat, but now he's flip goat on Instagram. Make sure you go and give him a follow. Um, he basically didn't purchase anything himself today. He was just out there helping me. Um, I did end up giving him the magician. Um, so hopefully he can make a couple of hundred dollars putting that into his eBay store super rare DVD title that will hopefully get him a couple of hundred bucks pretty quickly. Um, so a big thank you to him. Um, but I do have some numbers. I've basically been just crunching a bunch of numbers here on the laptop with every single item because we did have that value counter and it grew up to $1,100. But I didn't show you absolutely everything in the video. Um, there were a few other titles in here. So I'll just go through the video games only and show you those values. So it ended up being 25 games that we're able to pull and it was $684 in value at an average sale price of $27. Surprisingly, there were a fair few computer games that did really well. That Dark Souls that we just spoke about being worth $40. There was a couple of other Grand Theft Auto computer games as well. So that was quite eye-opening uh, because I always leave the, the computer games behind. Um, so to see an average sale price of $27 in something that will ultimately ship for $5 uh, means that we're going to get some significant profit. We paid a dollar for every single one of these games, so just $25 in. Um, if we have a look at the TV shows, because it was predominantly TV shows that we picked up, I'm always looking for that. I'm always looking for complete series of TV shows. 
uh, and we we're able to find even some really good movies. The Halloween series is a huge DVD series to find. Um, we picked up Halloween 5 and Halloween 5 was actually worth $50. Um, so there were some really good titles in there outside of The Magician, but 35 uh, total listings were found. Um, we're gonna group together a couple of the finds that we had. The revenue was $911, and that was an average sale price of $26. So very interesting that basically $26 in DVDs, $27 in video games. So a very, very similar average sale price. Uh, when we have a look at the total of those two numbers, uh, it ended up being 60 listings today. Uh, there was $1,595 in total value. We paid the 70, the average sale price worked out to 26.50. I think the postage will be $350 and I think the fees will be $240 working on about 15%. Um, so that doesn't include the magician as well. So you could add on an extra 200 and it would have meant our fine was closer to $1,800 worth of value today. Uh, but 1,600 worth of value that will should, it should profit me about 900 to 950 dollars so you know six hours out there hunting digging through thousands of dvds to be able to pull away and come home with a thousand dollars worth of true profit uh, it's been a super successful day 